last week when you were talking about using waves of guys mm -hmm. on defense, how much of that is related to the extra game, or is it just your plan all the time? That's just how we play. Uh, if you've seen this system over the years, you do wave a bunch of guys on that D-line to keep them fresh, and that's why Coach Kiff and Coach Garrett work really hard with, with all those guys, and, and we're going to count on all of them. Could you see the same thing at like linebacker where you got guys like Mac and JOK? where each one carves out kind of his own role? Yeah, I, I think that's true, really, Scott, of all these positions. we got to carve out roles uh, at, a bu at a bunch of different spots. Kevin, how would you assess Jeremiah's development? How's he come along? I think he's doing a nice job. Uh, obviously, you know he had that delay there in the beginning, but he made sure to get all he could out of those walkthroughs. Uh, and then he uh, had that injury in the weight room. Yeah. But he's overcome that as well. So he's doing a nice job. He's uh, continuing to work. I know it wouldn't necessarily be with a guy like Kelsey in mind, but what, what kind of value does Jeremiah have in his ability to, to cover tight ends and, and play in space like he does? Yeah, I think uh, I'd tell you, Tom, all those linebackers, uh, we, we take it, uh, it, it's very important to be able to cover uh, in this game, uh, in this NFL game. And, and obviously you mentioned Kansas City has some great uh, tight ends that they have a bunch of different guys in the past game. So uh, the ability to cover is a big deal. Kevin, you got three more guys back today. You only have Michael on the active mm -hmm. Just how good does it feel to have a full complement of guys going into week one? Yeah, I mean, that's been the, the plan all along, Daryl, is to, is to make sure you're, you're sharp and, 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 then, and you're fresh. And, and we had some guys working through some injuries and continue, continue to do that. Uh, but that's, that's kind of been the plan, and hopefully you guys continue to progress. Do you have a, a sense yet of what Odell's availability is going to be Sunday? Is that something you're waiting to I think for all the, all the guys, Jake, I think we're going to use today, the next few days, to see where everybody is and then ultimately make decisions uh, how this week goes. I, I know you don't measure everything by catches, Kevin, mm -hmm. but um, Austin Hooper's catches were way down from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Do you expect more from him in that regard this year? Or, or? Yeah, we, I think we talked about it before, Jeff. I do think his role can grow. Uh, he was very, very important to our success last season, and we're going to count on him in a variety of areas this year as well. Kevin, with, you know, obviously Matt Wilson had a baby earlier at camp. Uh, Rashard just had one. Um, when it comes to balancing guys like that, football and that personal side, you know, you gave them those things of absences. Mm -hmm. How important is that for guys to be able to balance that? And how much do you emphasize kind of being there in those moments? Yeah, we, it's definitely something we talk about, Dan, is, we have to be so intentional about when we're away from this building being with our family. And, you know, you mentioned a couple of guys becoming dads for the first time and how important it is for them to be there and, and, and be present. Uh, so we just make, make a big point of it uh, in this building, uh, all of us. Uh, when we're outside this building, we got to make sure that, that we're where, where, where we, our feet are. That may mean it's easy for guys to kind of lose focus on that, like the family side, but when you're kind of in the grind of football. And yeah, certainly we spend a lot of hours here, so we have some uh, all-stars at home that are helping on that front. Uh, but, you know, th there's a there's a amount of work that has to happen within these walls. Uh, but when you're not out of here, you got to make sure that you're home. What do you uh, – Donovan Peoples-Jones, he yeah. really stood out, especially early in camp. Just every day he was making those plays, and every day we were asking you about him. Just as, as he goes into this second year, what have, what have you seen? Yeah, Donovan's done a nice job. Daryl going back to last season as well. Uh, he's done everything that's been asked of him. Uh, came back in really great shape. Spent some time with Baker in the summer, and that definitely showed uh, in, in how he's playing. He doesn't say much when we talk to him. Is he quiet in meetings, or how, is, uh, how would you describe that? Yeah, I'd say he's uh, he's not the most boisterous guy, Jeff. We've got some other guys that have that handle. Uh, but he comes out here and he works, know, knows what to do all the time, does his job. So he really lets his uh, performance and his play and how he practices do the talking. Kevin, since we last talked, you guys added uh, kickers to the practice squad. So is that uh, competition this week um, between your two kickers or – you go into game one with Chase and see how it goes. Yeah, we go into game one with Chase for sure. I mean, it's a competition at every position uh, throughout the season. Uh, but but we were, the plan was always to have two kickers uh, on the roster. How different is it a year ago? You had no training camp or even no preseason. And going into the first game now, a year later, on the first game, your comfort level, the continuity. 
Yes, I'd say things are very different, uh, obviously. Uh, we're all in a different place, but having a, a year under the belt for our coaches with our players, uh, we, we hope provides a, you know, an advantage. But there, there's a bunch of teams, including the one we're playing this week, where they have continuity as well. Kevin, we asked you a bunch about um, you know, the, the mandatory three days off mm -hmm. and your message, you guys. Were you satisfied with as far as you know, the way everyone handled it and how you guys were able to come back today and get the work going? Again? Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, as far as I know, I, you guys took care of what they needed to take care of and then got some good work in. Today we're going to go back in and have some meetings and another walkthrough. So this is a good work day for us.